In this video, we will describe the proper operation of the Bunsen burner. The Bunsen burner is an indispensable tool in the laboratory. It was invented by Robert Bunsen in the mid-1800s. A typical Bunsen burner consists of a tube, an air control, and a gas inlet. All burners are a variation on this original design. For example, this Meeker burner has a mesh top designed to produce numerous tiny blue cones for an extremely hot flame. A variety of gases can be used with the burner. We commonly use methane, also known as natural gas, in the chemistry laboratory. Methane has the chemical formula CH4 and burns in oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water vapor. The Bunsen burner is attached to the gas outlet on the laboratory bench with a piece of rubber hose. Firmly attach the hose to the gas inlet on the burner and the gas outlet on the bench. Check that both ends of the hose are secure to prevent gas leakage. Close the air control by turning the sleeve clockwise until it is completely down. Close the gas control by turning the thumb screw counterclockwise until it is completely up. Before opening the gas outlet, make sure you have a striker and are wearing eye protection. Turn the gas outlet on by moving the handle parallel to the nozzle. Open the gas flow on the burner slightly, two or three turns of the thumb screw. Position the striker on the side of the burner, never over it for safety reasons. One or two strikes should light the burner. A bright yellow flame indicates incomplete burning of methane to produce carbon particles, which when heated glow bright yellow. This yellow flame is a relatively cool flame. To obtain a hotter flame, we must adjust the gas to air ratio. Add air by turning the air control sleeve counterclockwise. As you do this, the flame will become blue in color and you will begin to hear a slight warbling noise similar to a small jet engine. The flame will appear to have an inner and an outer cone. The outer cone is purple in color and is called the oxidizing flame. The inner cone is bright blue and is called the reducing flame. The hottest part of the flame is at the tip of the inner cone. Sometimes a colorless gas cone is seen within the inner cone. This is unburned gases. Finally, when turning off the Bunsen burner, extinguish the flame by turning off the gas outlet at the laboratory bench. The gas is off when the lever is perpendicular to the nozzle. In the general chemistry laboratory, working with the Bunsen burner is one of the more potentially dangerous activities we carry out due to the inherent risks associated with fire. Never leave a flame unattended. If you are not using the Bunsen burner, then turn it off or at least close the air control to produce a more visible yellow flame. Never adjust the height of the flame with the gas outlet on the laboratory bench. It is simply an on-off valve. Use the gas control needle valve.